Last January, I was sitting at my tying bench, scrolling through my Facebook feed, and I came across a photo of a Paragon midge from Jared Church back east, and I thought to myself, that looks simple, it looks easy, but it looks a lot like the midge larva that we have in our local rivers around here. And I thought, what the heck, I'll whip some up. So I spun some off the vise that day, I took them out to the river a couple days later, and they worked really well. And it's become a, a staple midge larva pattern for me, uh, both last winter and throughout the spring. And this winter again, same thing. Jared originally tied this fly without a hot spot, and that's how I fished it all last winter. But then this fall, I decided I'd add some orange thread to it as well to, to see how the local trout liked it. And they like both patterns really well. So you can give it a, a shot with or without the hot spot, however you like it. And I know it's gonna catch fish for you. This is the original Virginia midge that I saw from Jared's Facebook post and um, as you'll see it's really simple. It doesn't look like much in the vise but when I saw it in the photo I thought that looks exactly like some of the midge larvae that we have at home, um, at least the color wise and general size and I had to try it in the winter and it's worked very well. So uh, this is a size 20 Dohiku 644. I'm going to do it on that hook, but I'm going to tie it um, with an inverting bead, which I've already glued in place. Uh, just to show you that that first hook I had in there um, with the finished fly was a size 20 and has a copper 2 millimeter bead on it. And, you know, that's sort of the normal size 20 bead that you could, uh, that we, you would use. But, um, you can put a 2.3 millimeter slotted bead or a 2.5 millimeter inverting bead on this size 20 without making it too outlandish looking. And it packs a lot more weight. So I've been using that two millimeter bead version for a lot of trout in really skinny water this year, just fishing it single on a micro leader and, and sight fishing to a lot of fish with it. But if I need to get down, I can get down several feet or more with this fly right here. Same, same materials, just a two and a half millimeter inverting bead instead. So I'm gonna cover this hook shank with some thread. This is just a Rusty Dunn ADOT Uni thread. And then, <laughs> I lost my tinsel on the table here. Here it is. Um, you have to be careful with this tinsel because it can disappear really easily on your table. This is Hens Paragon tinsel number one. And I've tried um, this same fly with regular pearl silky, and it just hasn't fished as well for me. This number one hen's paragon tinsel is not nearly as flashy as regular pearl silky. It's a lot more subtle, and it, um, you know it'll catch the sun and provide some sheen, but it's pretty um, muted comparatively. It's it definitely is more subtle. Okay, so I'm just building up a little bit of a body there, just a slight front taper. And I'm actually gonna put a little super glue under this. I know it's getting buried in resin, but this fly that is uh, kind of fragile if a little bit of that resin chips off, you either have to put too much resin on it and build up the body to, to cover it all, or um, the resin itself will stick okay to the thread, but if it's just thread on there, sometimes it tends to chip off if you hit a rock or anything like that, or, or fish's teeth can still cut through it. So I'm just putting a little bit of a layer of super glue underneath this tinsel here so that it'll, it will uh, adhere to that, but also the resin will adhere to it a little bit better as well. Um, it's uh, got a little bit more surface grittiness to it uh, for the resin to attach to. Okay, so I could whip finish it there and it could be that standard um, original variation that I saw, this right there. But I've been also adding a hot spot to a lot of mine lately just to help set them apart in the drift. So I'm switching to some 16 knot Vivas thread here. Just gonna make a few wraps and whip finish this off. It's just enough for a, a small collar. You don't want to overwhelm the fly with it. Okay, and now the last thing is just to put some resin on. I have some Sol Res bone dry here. And like I do with all my Paragons and other resin bodied flies, I want to take as much of that resin off the brush as I can to begin with. So I 
wipe it around the inside of the bottle a bunch of times first just to take all the excess off that way you don't get too much put on to begin with and I'm just covering the whole shank and dabbing off anything extra on the shaft of the brush and now hit it with the light and that's it that is the finished Virginia Midge with uh, one exception that I've added an orange hot spot. And you can see that inverting bead still looks pretty good on that fly. It's not overwhelmingly large, but it sinks really quickly with that smooth body. Uh, and then, you know, you can compare the sink rate and the look of it to this original, which is with the two millimeter bead and without the hot spot. So um, either variation works really well. Uh, this one is a great sight fishing pattern that I've had a lot of success with, but, and you know, good all winter long, but also has been throughout the year for me. I've fished it even in the middle of the summer. Um, but uh, the 644 back, a little bit back on the hook here, the 644 from Dohiku, it's, an, it's a heavy wire scud and in a 20, I've had a, I've been looking for, you know, I'm always on the lookout for the, the best barbless size 20 hook or even smaller. And most of the jigs that I've used, um, this pattern originally, I, the photo I saw was on a jig, but most of the jigs that I've used in that size have been bent out a little too easy for me. Um, this hook has not bent out. Um, it's stout, it's uh, caught plenty of fish, it has a really good hook to hold ratio. Um, so I have a lot of confidence in it in this size. Um, it also has a nice large eye on the front here, so it's easy to fit tip it through compared to a lot of size 20 hooks. So give that 644 a try. And I really only fish this pattern in an 18 and a 20, but you could try it bigger as well, and I'm sure it would, it would likely work for you. But that is the Virginia Midge. Thanks, uh, Jared Church, for a, a good pattern that's uh, worked well for me.